Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I have something for you I think you're going to like. This is a robotic vacuum from Roidme, which was a division of Xiaomi. Xiaomi makes wonderful products. They're kind of like the Samsung of China. And i got to say, this one is really, really nice. There were a couple reasons I agreed to see this one. So yes, they sent me this unit, and of course my opinions are my own, and I didn't have to run anything by them, but I actually do love this unit. And let me tell you what it has on it. That little bump on the top of it, that's LiDAR, which means it does excellent maps. And here, I'm going to show you the map of my particular house. Here, this is how the whole thing works. Here, there's the there's the app, and there's the, I just ran it. I just ran it to clean my daughter's room. And it does its beautiful job in the fact that I can direct it to go to one room. It will beeline there, it'll clean the room, and it'll come back and plug itself in, empty the vacuum wonderful job. So the other reason I liked it is it said that it worked with, um, well, Amazon Echo. I don't want to say her name because she's everywhere in this house. And that sounded really neat. So a couple ways to launch this one. Yes, you can use the app. And the cool thing is you can share the app. So you're not the only administrator. I had a robot in the past, but I was the only person that could launch it. So if I was traveling on business or something, my wife would be like, well, I can't make it work. This one, you can hit the button. You can say it to your Amazon Echo. Uh, and I thought that was really, really great. Uh, and it, you can also, there's a button on the front of the unit. This is the front of the unit. This is designed to be hands-free. It has a mopping function, which I completely discounted because all the mopping functions I've seen in the past were like this one. It's going to drag a pad behind it. And that's not mopping. That's just making a mess. This one is, is much, much different. This one doesn't have a little reservoir for water. This one has a real reservoir. And it goes back and it fills it up. And it has two pads that rotate together and they actually scrub your floor because when you drop some soy sauce on the floor it leaves little dots and they collect dust and they dry and you really have to scrub them out if you didn't get them right away this is rotating in 360 and it's great it does some beautiful things it's very well designed when i put these in just near the bottom a magnet sucks them into place and then immediately it tells the computer to switch modes. It's now in mopping mode. In mopping mode, it won't touch your carpets. It stays off of them. I'll put a map up. You can see mopping mode. It stayed off the Persian rugs. It stayed off every. It stayed out of the bedrooms. It goes right up to the edge. It brings the mopping pieces up to the edge of the boards and then backs off. It's fantastic. All right, so I'm going to tell you what's weird about my map. You look at my map, you might say, that's the strangest map I've ever seen. My floors go, uh, my windows go floor to ceiling. So it's actually seeing into the backyard here. Here, I'm going to bring this over here. When I zoom in, this purple area that's extending, that's my backyard. So is the blue area that's extending. It's seeing into my backyard. Uh, that's... This area right here, that's my deck. <laughs> so this is all backyard. But it's fine because it's not going to do any of that. It's not going to make any mistakes. Uh, this is my kitchen countertop. So it goes in there, cleans the whole kitchen. It knows the difference between... There, you can see this is where I'm keeping the robot. That's a couch. That's a couch. That's an ottoman. That's an ottoman. That's a coffee table. It knows where everything is. Very minimal bumping. It doesn't bump into things, really. Uh, this is the pink area is my atrium. So I told that that's a keep out. And look, it went ahead and created rooms for all of these. I'm going to hit this. And you can have it go and do just one room. It will be, oh, I did that right, right here with number three. That's my daughter's room. I sent it there. It did a beeline for it. It cleaned the whole room, went around the posts and all the things, and came straight back emptied the bag and plugged itself back in. Fantastic. It has made it in 100% of the time. The cleaning has been excellent. It's incredibly well designed, has great accessories, finds its way home 100% of the time. The mopping is excellent. I was not thinking I was going to enjoy the mopping. Check out this. This accessory, you can throw them in the wash. My other ones are actually in the wash right now. This little Velcro piece, that's just genius. When you put these in, a magnet sucks them up and it changes modes. Just well, well done. Great battery life. 
Oh, and you might be wondering here. I'm gonna click this more. I'm gonna click the cleaning schedule. I've done this 43 times for 816 minutes for 667 square meters. We've cleaned this house a number of times. And I've just got to say, this has been very, very good. Resource management's excellent. It will knows when its brushes get dirty and cleans them off. It knows when the, uh, the container is full and sucks it out. So, and it goes and it continues. If it runs out of batteries, because yeah, some of these ones I did kind of long. There's one that was 41 minutes and followed by a 19 minutes. It went back, plugged itself in, remembered, went straight back and finished the job. 100% awesome. Now, things that were weird. I do have floor to ceiling windows, like I mentioned, and my map doesn't look all that clear. Be nice if I could trim that and say that was outside. But most people don't have windows that go all the way to the floor. And the fact that the map looks weird is not a big deal. Uh, let's see. It's a little bit taller because of the LiDAR. It's a little bit taller than my vacuums of the past. I had to put some little, um, I guess they put little cups underneath my couch to lift it a little bit taller. And yeah, now it goes underneath the couch and cleans it just perfectly. Uh, another one. Direct sunlight. If you're watching it and it has direct sunlight, I have a video I'll put up. Uh, it gets a little confused by it. Now, it still does a great job cleaning. It's just like, what are you doing? What are you, what are you backing off of that for? It does, can't tell. I guess the sunlight confuses it a little bit, but still vacuumed everything great. And the Alexa app, oops, I said her name, uh, is a little bit weak. Here is an answer from an Alexa Answers. Alexa, stop. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit weak. I did write to them and made some suggestions about what it could call itself, that kind of things, things that were easier to pronounce. And I want to be able to tell it, go clean room three and have it go do it. Because that's my daughter's room. <laughs> you know, you can't have all the kids have clean rooms all the times, but if you recognize the two of them are clean, like that's my son's room, that's my daughter's room, that's my other daughter's room, and I may want the bathroom cleaned out. It will go and do those and then come back and plug itself in. Or you can just do the whole house and say, start cleaning, and it will clean the whole house. If it's in vacuum mode, it will clean the whole house and go in every room. If it's in mopping mode, it will stay off the carpets. It just knows. I got to say, this is incredibly well executed. And I was thinking, how does this compare to some of the other brands that we know, like the iRobot? And I took a look at their lineup. Their, their mapping function, or their mopping function... I think it's going to show it right now. Look, here's their mop. It's dragging around one of these things. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that's not mopping. And theirs are quite pricey. Just to be fair, I mean, look at their, I'm sure they're excellent, but $1,000 is just a lot. And to get the right kind of mopping function where it gets the soy sauce drips off the floor or whatever, orange juice, <laughs> you need to scrub it. You need it to be moist and you need to scrub it. So one pass, this just does a beautiful job. Let me show you the end result because I walked around. I've always been impressed, cleaned it now 41 times. And I've just got to say, good job, uh, Royd me. This is a, a beautiful little design. Her name is Eva. And uh, for the first time, I've seen a mopping function work well. And I've seen a vacuum that actually knows where it lives and gets back to its house every time. Anyway, guys, that's it. I love this thing. I think for Christmas, this would be a great family gift, just something that to clean. Uh, I was amazed by the accessories that you gave, that they gave. They gave multiple sets of pads. That's nice because they do wear out. The vacuum, oh, this vacuum bag, they say it lasts six months, but look how well designed this is. When you go to lift it out, it closed the door. That's just genius. So, yeah, they give you five of these. So you have some, uh, they say the last six months, that's over two years worth of stuff. That's going to work out great. Um, I'm a big fan of this. And I think if you can, if this is something that you wanted to get, I'd get it. Now, pet hair. If you had pet hair, I think you're going to fill these a little bit faster. You may want to take that into consideration. But uh, this is pretty cool. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one. Talk to you soon. I don't like too much foam. Oh, wow.
this. It's going to take some lifting. There we go. This is the stocking station. It's got all the buttons. Looks like it opens to add water into. Wow. You've got to see this. This looks rather nice. So as I open it, you can see inside it's very well organized. It has a bag for collecting dust, clean water, dirty water. And the robot itself, I like the fact that it's not too big. This would be my fifth vacuum that I've tested. And they've been getting progressively better over the years. So I'm kind of excited to see what this one's like. Wow. So here's where it's supposed to clean your floors. Can you see that? And it's got a brush and rubber. That's extra good. And on one side it has a little piece. I do like the fact that it's going to dock and suck all everything out of here for me. Pretty great. Got some bumper foam on here. I'm going to remove that and we'll set it up. That's basically what we're looking at.